What are the beginning of the matter here that I will be cured? Um, so it was um, exciting, I was happy about it. Especially being told that this is over now, no more drugs, no more bastards going down the road. At that stage, we started a strengthened regimen for her, and now two years down the line, she's cured. The chances of that are incredibly low, so I think that's what makes it such an amazing story. Well, I was crying, uh, I was here. Well, it was about tears of joy, as they would say. This certificate I got today on, uh, on my party, uh, this is to certify that I am cured of XDR and that I have uh, conquered it, beaten it. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't want at first to be a statistic of TB, especially XDR TB. Uh, so what gave me hope was that uh, maybe one day I'll help others also to, to, to continue with their treatment. Uh, every person who is taking uh, extra, extra treatment uh, must just have hope that one day you will be cured because I know the treatment is hard. So it's like uh, take your treatment as prescribed and you can hope that one day you will get cured. Again, it's not easy, but then you have to try harder to yourself to, to survive. I think what Pumeza's case really clearly illustrates is that it's two things. The first is that we need better diagnostic tools to find XDR-TB. The second is that we need much better treatment and treatment that we can start as early as possible. I will resume those uh, big dreams I had before uh, this XGRC, which is uh, going to university, getting a degree and getting a job that I want. But I'm not sure anymore about the business which was in while I was still in university. Maybe now I will consider health.